What's going on, Internet Land? Jeff Koga here, and it's story time. So I want to tell you about Fix Your Face and uh, uh, the story about uh, what I like to call the resting <laughs> face or the B face. All right. So check this out. Right. So so this weekend, uh, a lot of my high school friends and stuff like that came over to the house to do like a little potluck, right? And uh, the story all boils down to a challenge and issue I've always had, which is sometimes when people are like talking to me, right? I spaz out, right? And not because not because of uh, what they're saying, but more of who and how my brain works, right? So they're talking about something and then I get pretty distracted by a lot of my internal conflicts and internal head talk that I have. So I'm thinking about something else that has remotely nothing to do with the conversation that's going on. So, so a lot of times I'll have like a face where I'm just kind of like, like, you know, and it literally looks like I'm being a punk kid. I've always had that issue since I was growing up to a point where I would have to get into like little fights when I was growing up because people would think that I'm like mad dogging them or I'm giving them like all kinds of like, you know, thing when I'm not even thinking about what they think that I'm thinking about, right? I just had this face, right? The the Asian resting face as people would like to call, right? So, so I'm having this, right? And I know I have this issue and I've had it for a long time. I'm working on it, right? And when my friends come, right? So I'm, I'm like having a conversation, listening to what they got. And then the, the conversation got into one of my, I call it my first uh, business partner, right? That I like to call, all right? He was in high school. We used to uh, slang or sell shampoo. His name is Lucknath, or we'll call him Lucky for sure, because that's his real name, right? And and Lucky and his fiance, right? Uh, Lisa starts talking about points and how to travel for free, right? And then that piqued my interest, right? Because I'm just like, dude, like I accumulate a lot of points, you know, from my business, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah. And, and we've been using it for one particular thing only, which is we would just literally get uh, gift cards and stuff like that. But he started talking about bonus points, right? Like he was just like, yeah, you get bonus points like 50% more bonus points right so in my brain as they're having this conversation right I'm just like so so if you get a dollar in points that means you get 50 cents more right and I'm just like that's silly if I don't capitalize on that because we get like tons of points right so I'm just like huh right so I'm thinking about this and how I can utilize that right because I knew some of our points program with Chase we have a uh, chase uh, for our business right we have the ink card right so we get like a dollar dollar and then for certain things we get like you know three points for every dollar certain stuff we get uh, uh, five points for every dollar right so I knew about these point system so purposefully we would use it to get accumulate points and like last year we would use those points for a lot of times like gift cards uh, to travel and things but the one thing that he said lucky was said was just like like, hey, yeah, you can get 50% points, and then on certain months, they have uh, programs where you can get more points, right? And he was saying, like, uh, Sapphire Reserve um, this month or this quarter is about Apple Pay, right? And I'm just like, huh, right? So as they're talking about this, I'm thinking about this, and then at the si simultaneously, this is going on, okay? is we did a kind of like a gift, you know, gift opening, right? Because because our friends, we only see them like maybe like once every two, three months, right? So so they come by the house and we're like exchanging gifts and we give gifts. And, and the funny thing was um, um, uh, my friend Lucky's uh, fiance, right? Gets a gift from us, we give him a gift and then she opens it and it's a gift card of all things, right? And I know what it was because because we got the gift card so I know what it was and she says, oh, oh, thank you so much. And then and then she looks at me and then I'm thinking about like points and how to get more points and then she says to me, she goes, yeah, and Jeff, and, I, and I'm paraphrasing phrasing but she says something like, yeah, and I guess Jeff doesn't even know what I'm talking about here, right? And I did know what she was talking about. I just simply was thinking about something else, right? And probably when she looked at me, if I could take a picture, I probably have the resting face, okay? Absolutely a resting bitch face, right? So again, she's thinking about thinking about like, oh yeah, we gave her a gift and uh, my wife picked it or whatever and then uh, I didn't know what the hell was going on and then from there, she probably thought that I had a resting bitch face when absolutely I wasn't even thinking about what she was thinking about. I was thinking about how to get more points on through my business and uh, my personal expenses so I can travel for free. So why am I telling you this, right? It is all of this is this is a constant issue and a problem I've always had, right? Where I'm in the middle of a conversation and I don't really pay attention 
attention to what people are saying, right? Like one thing says and my brain spazzes out and it goes into a different direction. I'm thinking about something else. And typically um, in my brain is I'm thinking about like business opportunity, business op and that kind of stuff. And uh, and our good friend uh, Josh right now says so it's the monkey brain. It's 100%. It's the monkey brain that goes, bruh, 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 right? And I remember my mentor used to always say, Jeffy boy, you have two years, one mouth. You have to listen to two times more harder than you actually speak, right? And then it's an issue and challenge I constantly battle with still to this day. And uh, I'm telling you this story to uh, recognize it, right? Because I think it's a lot of it of uh, self-improvement and how to get better um, is to recognize the problem problem you have and build on top of that so again um, you know as I did this I learned a couple of things one I recognize that and then two is for the folks that if you are you know uh, in your business or you are spending like you know those couple right they travel for free that's what they're saying like they use the points and they travel for free and I'm like genius right so so understand that there's little quirky little games right that you can play so you can travel for free so now um, last night I sat around literally reading kind of the rewards the ultimate rewards program right like um, I read it before but I didn't really read in details and think about how you can transfer points sign up bonuses and that kind of stuff right so now as I started looking I'm just like ah you know what I think I can figure out a way to get like a million uh, miles or million points right uh, so that's how my brain started working so so point of all of this is just recognize that that um, there are ways where you can leverage what you're already doing and then like kind of like my friends that they travel for free using the points um, you know do that and then also at the same time recognize that hey Hey, you know what maybe in these certain conversations you might uh, learn a thing or two about leveraging what you got going on already so that's my kind of message today and recognize your surrounding recognize what you got going on and you might be surprised on some of the new things that you learn and how you can apply it in life apply it in business apply it and be able to get the things that you want in life so that's what I got for y'all on this beautiful day love y'all take care and bye bye